Almost just $5 for fathers and grandfathers. 23 ABC reporter Stephen Hicks was there and joins us now with a little more on what goes on behind the scenes. Stephen? Yeah, Cassie, when you look at what a dad does for the family, he usually brings home the food, the shelter, sometimes even cleans up after the kids. Now, when you look at what the zookeepers do at Calm, not to take anything away from the dads, but it's pretty similar. You're being awfully quiet. If you spend enough time around someone, it's the little things you start to pick up on. I've been with them for three years. Alexis Day oversees the mammals here at Calm, but primarily focuses on the deer, foxes, and bears. Like a mom or a dad might talk about their kids, she sees what makes each animal unique. They all have different personalities, and um, radar is usually very sweet and loving. She's going through her nightly routine of cleaning the deer's cage and just like a parent, instilling a calm hand of discipline. Be nice. On the other side of the zoo, Brian Adams takes on a similar role with the bighorn sheep. Just like a father might be quick to notice when his kids are sick, so too can Brian find what's wrong. We need to know them because a lot of times um, they don't want us to know that they're sick. That comes from nature's instinct. If a predator sees any form of weakness, it will move in and attack. But Brian has been around long enough to know when they're sick. Small drops in appetite. Maybe they didn't meet me at the gate that night. All of these sheep came from the same father, Banner, seen right here. But throughout the zoo, some animals are missing their dads. Misty the bobcat is without her dad and requires extra care from the staff at Calm. Brian and Alexis say you can count on them to continue doing just that. I have plenty of cleaning. You'll always see me. <laughs> I'll be out here. Now, calm isn't just for Father's Day. If you're looking for something to do this summer, the last Saturday of each month, kids get in free. Cassie, back to you. Thank you, Stephen.